it's a real pleasure to meet you. And you too. Um, I'd like to just ask you a few questions on a completely autonomous this is uh, so type exciting, of school isn't bus. It? Yeah. I love all this stuff. <laughs> Well, Where are you going? Who's sitting here then? Well, I can sit there if you want. You Should I sit there? All right, no, I'm not going to complain about that. <laughs> um, right, so really what I wanted to ask you about is because obviously this, this whole uh, event, uh, Bosch is... so exciting. It is, isn't it? Yeah. There's no driver. We have no driver. I love it. Do you remember the... Do you love it? That oh, was going to be one of my absolutely questions. absolutely love it. So I've got a mate uh, who has one of the, the new Teslas. Yeah. And it can drive just within the two white lines. That's right. You and you like, like that. do you like that? I love it. Oh, I scream <laughs> with delight. Absolutely. You do? Yes, oh, I that's... really do. How boring is it to drive on a motorway? Oh yeah, it is quite dull. It, it, actually. Quite? Yeah. 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 There's so many other things I could be doing. Yeah. Then going, oh click, how many miles? Imagine oh, if this turned it? up outside your door in the morning. Yeah. Took you to your meeting. You've called it on an app. The app's got some great algorithm about where it's going to say the app then sends you a message to say, actually, we're meeting at the end of Murphy Street, not that uh, this morning, yeah. and then you go, oh, OK. You could even have a meeting on the damn thing. You might not need to meet at a place. Oh, uh, yeah. Because it will stop at a coffee shop that it knows you like. Yeah. And you can get your... You see, I coffee. think that's marvellous because there's so much guff about life at the moment, <laughs> particularly for you poor buggers who live in London. London yeah. it took me an hour. So we're in Somerset House now, which is beautiful. Yeah. Stunning, absolutely gorgeous, done a brilliant job on it. Came from Mayfair this morning, it took an hour. In an the hour from Mayfair. Everything in London takes forever. Yeah. And actually, you can waste three hours a day just getting to work, doing the thing, la la la. It's unpleasant. It the is. The whole yeah. experience is unpleasant. Three hours of your awake time every yeah. day. What's and it's what, about? five miles or something on paper? What's that about? That's why this kind of technology can release time, it can release energy, mm -hmm. it can release stress, Yeah. you know, so um, a bit like when the washing machine was invented <laughs> <laughs> for women. Oh, yeah, and pre-timed pre stuff, yeah. Pre oh, so autonomy, so yes, in the right environment, you, you, yeah, you're, you're with that? absolutely. Okay, yeah. okay, so this, yeah. is, this could be your Johnny Cab, that, you know, remember the film Total Recall? Yeah. This reminds me of the Johnny Cat. Oh yeah, that's true. With the I weird, with the that. weird taxi robot head at the front. Yeah. This is what it is. Where am I? You're in a Johnny Cat. I mean, what am I doing here? But it's it's peaceful. Yeah, it is quite peaceful. Do you like electric cars? I love electric cars. I did. I drove the Vauxhall, whatever it was called. The Ampera. Yes. I've got one. <laughs> Carol Vorderman likes some Paris, yes. I did, I did find though, because the battery's through the centre, isn't it? So yes. it's like that. Yes. So you, it's like a, a two, two plus two at yes, the back. That's it's right. not sort of all the way across. It's yeah. quite a big car. Yeah. But it's got some grunt in it, hasn't it? Yeah, it's a great car. Yeah. Actually, it was a, I think it was a very underrated car. It wasn't promoted as well as it could have been. No, I don't think And so. I think it went under it's the radar. Looking car. I thought, it was, look. I've been telling people for ages it's one, of, it's, it's one of General Motors' best products. And so does Carol believe that. I do. And she knows. I do, because I drove it for a year. Yeah? And yeah. you're a style icon as well. So I graduated in engineering from Cambridge in 1981. And I worked briefly for the what was called the Central Electricity Generating Board, CEGB, yeah. because when it was a nationalised industry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and they were constructing our first massive hydro scheme and so I worked as an engineer underground, me and 2,000 blokes. Oh my and, word. I know, which was so exciting down there, well all sorts going on down there, but anyway, so that was amazing, I loved that. And then I worked for the Atomic Energy Authority at part time, yep. I'm not a fan of nuclear, uh, but I am a fan of renewables and I am a massive fan of what hopefully will become the Seven Barrage, which is, you know, the second that's Second the, most tidal um, estuary yeah, in the world. Right. Yeah. Why aren't we using it? And there's excuse after excuse after excuse, and it's political. It's got nothing to do with energy efficiency or anything. So instead, we're building all these blooming nuclear power stations like Hinkley Sea, yeah. hundreds of miles around the country, across beautiful landscapes of massive pylons. They won't put it under the water. They won't, all this technology is available, and they won't do it. So. You know, and equally, the ones that we're building, the new nuclear stations, are yet to be proved. They're yet to be know? proved, and the budget seems to be flying well, out forever. of... Forever. Yeah. And yet the argument against the seven barrage is, oh, well, the budget's too high. Well, hang on. Yeah. And, and, and all we're doing, 
my view with nuclear is we're putting off the problem for another however many years, yeah. X number of years. Yeah. So yes, I am a massive, massive, massive fan of, uh, of renewables. What do you drive, Carol? Now I or drive. Ride. You I might drive. Ride a well, I don't know. You know, we were all encouraged to buy diesel, weren't we? We were. Hello. So yeah, I bought yeah. a diesel. Of um, course. I used to drive fast cars. I love driving fast cars. I love rallies. I love Formula One. I love MotoGP. Yeah. I fly a plane. Uh, all of those different things. But what I find fascinating is that the efficiency of all of those different kinds of vehicles has improved dramatically. So yeah. like now an Airbus A350, for yeah. instance, yeah. Uh, compared to an old 737, whatever it might have been, it uses only 20% of the fuel that those did uh, only 30 years ago per passenger mile. 20%. So Yeah, only 20%. So th there's been a drop of 80% oh in terms God. of fuel consumption per passenger mile. Yep. We have more passengers now and they're flying further, yep. but, yep. Um, you know, that isn't a statistic that's put out there and said, oh, well, flying is bad. Things do progress. Sometimes it's incremental. Sometimes it's a big whacking change like this in, yep. in how you do things. Yeah. You need to fly the electric aeroplane. I'd love to. You've oh, read gosh. about it or you've seen it. Yeah, I've seen it. Yeah. yeah. The, yeah. the solar powered one. There's the solo, yeah. yeah. Which went around the world, isn't That's it? Which right. was amazing. Would you have had a go in that? Yeah. Would you? Yeah, but I mean, it, it, I saw that as, in effect, it was almost like the Wright brothers flying, you know, however many hundred yards they flew. Yeah. Um, and then in another 30 years or 40 years, because it's been proven that it can do it, yeah. the technologies improve, um, the efficiency improves, and uh, you know, that will come as it should come. Absolutely, um, absolutely. That is one of my predictions, is that city centres will become silent. If you want to invest in a house, buy one next to a road, because they're cheaper. And, the and when, the, when the noise disappears yes. in 20 years' time, price goes up. So I buy a house next to the A1? Yeah, that's yeah. a good idea. Because I've always thought, you know those houses right next to table, you just think, I'd open my door in the morning and the cat would run out and die straight away. Straight away. Because there's four feet between a road that never stops. <laughs> so what, people can't own cats on that road. <laughs> no, but cities will become more or less silent. Yeah. So um, That would be quite refreshing, wouldn't it? Oh, what bliss. Yeah. Absolute bliss. So something like this, fantastic. Just in a city centre, uh, you know, Doing the rounds, I mean, I cycle in Bristol, I tend not to use my car. Do, do you have an e-bike? Or have you tested no, an e-bike? No, I, I should have in Bristol on the Blooming Hills That's that the thing, it's, it's San Francisco of the South West. <laughs> it is. Isn't it? That's how I always <laughs> see it. You certainly get rid of some calories there. You do? Yeah, you do. I didn't think we'd chat about so many subjects. <laughs> I thought I'd have you for about one minute, and we would talk exclusively about, uh, I, I don't know, um, the importance of engineering. Well, but we it kind is of have. Well, we do, but it's yeah. in a practical way. And and for me, it's about young people driving things forward, really, yeah. um, because they're the ones who are going to live in this new world, this generation of, you know, from sort of eleven to twenty-five or eleven to whatever that yeah. sort of age. They're not bound by the restrictions. So, I mean, I'm not saying they have the knowledge base. You know, yeah. they, they still need that, but they're not. But they're they're not. Uh, hindered by other thought processes that were put upon us as children you know yeah. well you can't do that because it's never been done you can't do this you can't do that um you know you had to think about society in a particular way yeah when i was growing up you had to marry well it yeah, just means yeah. so that you lived in a nice house and all of that and that's not what governs things now no it, it was very very conformist yes very, it was yeah. yeah it was particularly as a girl you know um, yeah. that was my mother tried to get me married off on my 18th birthday really yeah she learned I'm to, I, I can't actually remember what I did on my 18th birthday yeah. Yeah. Uh, it was, it was a cue for the pod yeah well we better get off the autonomous school bus thank you so much Carol it's been really good to talk to you thank and you, you too